Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have seen how important control and coordination is. We have seen the working of the neuron cells and also the reflex actions. At last, we had also seen the working and functioning of the human brain. For all these functioning, we determine that electrical impulse is important. Now, these electrical impulses are important for transmitting the information. But we know that no one system can determine or perform every function. Even the electrical impulses are not capable of transferring all the information. It also has limitations. Now, what are its limitations? Firstly, the electrical impulses are transmitted to only those cells which are connected to nervous tissues. Which means that if a cell is not connected to nervous tissue, what will happen to it? And second, the reason is that when a information is transmitted to a cell, it will take some time to reset its mechanism for generation of the next impulse. So it will be time consuming. Therefore, we conclude that the cells cannot continuously create and transmit this electrical information. So the animals have another method for the communication between the cells, namely the chemical communication or the endocrine system. Now under this chemical communication, a chemical is released around the original cell. In this method, the cells have special molecules on the surface which detect these chemicals and transmit this information to each and every cell. Now we know that these chemicals which are released are also called as hormones. These hormones play an important role in transferring the information to each and every cell regardless of the nervous tissue. So we can say that a hormone play an important role in control and coordination of a human body. We know that the control and coordination is a very important task. We have seen that the chemical communication transmits its information through hormones and this is because we call this system as hormonal coordination also. In the previous video, we have also seen that the electrical impulses are transmitted through the nervous tissue and we call as nervous coordination. So let's understand this hormonal coordination and nervous coordination by drawing a table. Now this side we have the nervous coordination and here we have the hormonal coordination. Now we have seen in the nervous coordination that the nerves are required to transmit the information to each and every part of the body. But in hormonal coordination, you can see that the hormones are required to transmit the information. We have also seen in nervous coordination that the CNS or the central nervous system and nerves are important for control and coordination. But in hormonal system, you will see that the hormones are specialized for each and every functions. Here you can see that the organs are not affected if the rate of electrical impulse is more or less. But if there is increase and decrease in the hormones here, then the target organ will get affected. In the nervous coordination, the procedure is faster. So it is a faster process which is preferred for sending information to particular part of the body. Whereby here you can see it is a slower process and can send information to each and every part of the body. So we have seen the differences between the hormon hormonal coordination and the nervous coordination. In the next video, we will be seeing the specified functions of the hormones in humans.